Alright, hey guys, FireWeer here, coming at you for some more To The Moon. Um, <clears throat> so, in the last episode, we finished off Johnny's memories, and, or what we could finish off of Johnny's memories, and in this episode, we are going to, uh, deal with Johnny's memories, somehow. So I guess what I'm meant to do is go like this, what did I do? Okay, line up to Trent. Matching memento. Oh, so like that. Cool. Okay. Now, uh. Okay. The rabbit, I guess. Um. It's still lit up, so I guess it's fine. I think. Is it still fine? They're both. They're all still lit up. I'm gonna say it's fine. Uh. This is the book. Okay. Hey, Eva, check this out. Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? Yeah, that just happened. Okay. <laughs> what, what do I say to that? Okay. And then this... What the fuck is this thing? Cool, we did it. I think. Did we do it? We did it! Yay! Also, I looked it up, um, there will probably be this episode and then one more after that. Ding! That's about all of the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. Uh, oh, okay, what? 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 Where'd I go? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, what? Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. I'm nom nom. Wait, I'm nom 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 nom. <laughs> that was really stupid. Okay, uh, where do I go? Do I go back? I'm assuming I go back. That's what I would do in this circumstance. Go back. No? Okay. Oh. Wait, maybe I... Do I go all the way down and click on him? I'm gonna go click on him on you. That's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead. Oh, okay. So, uh, this one? This one! Hooray! Huh? I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. How do I go back? Send me back. Send me back! Okay. Yeah! Okay. Uh... What about you? I don't see how there could still be another episode of this. Okay, it is still the same. Sheesh, same thing here as well. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. Desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Freaky music. I don't like it. Uh, jeez. Very threatening music. Oh, it's freaky. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Goodness. This is the exact same, too. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. You need his last accessible memory. Okay, I guess I should have assumed that, but I wanted to check all of them. What's up? Okay. Why is it so freaky? This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about wh where this is going. This is where we met him last time. We met him up here, I think. If I recall correctly. God, this let's play has been going on forever. This music is so creepy! Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? Chat. How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. 
Lily, get us some tea, please. <clears throat> Lily? Fuck you, Lily. Freeze him, too. Shit. Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Hello. You transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even his desire doesn't work alone. Why is... Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Let's do it! We're at the movies. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. Earthquake and posters. Uh, what the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. River doesn't seem that excited. Hopefully that's enough for animation. Wait, where's Neil? Can I kill all the people again? No, I can't. Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it has a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. Screw you, it's a great movie. Okay, because Johnny doesn't exist, apparently. I can't tell you do anything with him. Why can't I go inside? Oh. Space. Duh. To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything changed with John. I don't even want to know what's going on with this movie. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Screw you, Johnny. You gotta sit through it. It's just life. Oh god, it's the exact same. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Move. L Lily? Shut up. <laughs> Good lord. I'm very rude. Aren't I? Okay. Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. Maybe I can make her want to go to the moon. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting! Let's go get a good spot! Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. What changed? Not this, apparently. Um, okay. What changed? Oh! Hey, don't squeeze! Everyone's going in there, so I'm gonna go in there. Do to do. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound a bit raspy. I'm a little bit sick, but I digress. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is. May I have your attention, please? Oh my god, what? As you know, I am a representative from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Oh god, stop hitting it, Timmy. Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Oh, jeez, I digress earlier. Really. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclock rides through the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has potential. It could be you, or you, 
Or, perhaps... You! I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. Oh, God. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Two hours later. And did you know that it is, its surface is as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Oh, God. Would you even be able to bike around the moon? Because gravity would be so different. Has anyone ever tried biking around the moon? That sounds weird. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for the tra light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days! I knew that. <laughs> I never knew that! And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous! And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Brunette? Why? They couldn't have said, like, especially if your name is Johnny? No, it's if you're a brunette. Okay, whatever. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Uh, Johnny was me when I was little. I never wanted to go to the moon. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Oh god, time for an epic montage! Or not. Oh, we're just back here. Well, this is sad. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. Barely afford to pay for her treat. But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! Oh god. It is an epic montage. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we rarely have anyone. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> Free pony rides in space! <laughs> oh look, a wedding, good for you But here's a riddle, guess where you should go for the honeymoon Oh god, that was terrible Oh god, is it over? It seems like it's over Rabbits Rabbitses River Fuck river, just go to the moon <laughs> Why? <laughs> Dang nabbit! Glass! Slippery! Johnny! Jo John! <laughs> Why? Why did he choose that? What the cucumber? <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up to for the job to run around like idiots yelling at him? Yeah, I screwed that up. Shut up. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's guiding to us. Had I known that we'd be up all night, I would have brought coffee. I'm not using my glasses, so I can't read. <laughs> so I apologize. And even if I did, I just went for an eye doctor appointment, actually. Um, I gotta stay on topic. I agree, you should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going to anywhere like this. Yeah, I've got all sorts of things to talk about. This game keeps bringing things up. But then, I have to read. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Calls to make? Okay, whatever. 
boom. Yeah, I'll try and hit up those topics if I can. I might be, yeah, I'm gonna nail the... Oh, no. This seems... Sentimental. Sentimental music! Hooray! <laughs> I think. Or maybe this is sad music. It's kind of both. I don't know, it's a little bit sad. It's somber. Somber music. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred yet. There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could could have changed caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? Shut up, Skype. River. Shut up, Skype! <laughs> What exactly did you do? Somehow my Skype got turned on to, uh... Whatever it's called. You know, that thing. And I can't get rid of it. I'm sorry. Ah, the sun's rising. Were we asleep or awake? I don't know. Whoa, that sunset's really pretty, even though it's really fake. It's still pretty. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. It would have been nice if the music had just stopped there. But, I digress. Um, okay, I guess I can hit up those points that I wanted to hit up. Number one, as a kid, I never wanted to go to the moon. I did not like the idea of, like, going up into space to meet my inevitable demise. Just does not sound fun to me. Where is Neil? I wonder. Do you think he went down? Better go see if Neil has any ideas. Okay, he didn't go down. Um, I'm assuming he's in the house. But, yeah, going into space and like to my inevitable demise for like when I was a kid like going up into space would probably take like 10 years or so like it's a long trip to the moon back then Ugh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now yeah I was not interested I was like leave all my family and friends behind forever and uh, probably never come back and die in space yeah that's that's definitely not for me Maybe he's upstairs but yeah, so, I don't know, I never wanted to go to the moon. Now, I'm like, oh. Hey, look at that. But yeah, now I'm kind of like, the moon? Sure, why not? I don't know, I'll go wherever. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just, we just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. I don't remember where the fuck the kitchen is. I know it's up, up here, but... I'll try and go in here. Maybe something's changed. Things changed. This is a bathroom. Fuck off, Skype! Fuck! <laughs> Shut up! I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna mute it. Fuck it. Yeah, you guys see something. I'm sorry! I'm so. You can't mute it. Okay, fuck my life. Never mind. You guys are gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> fuck! I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, goodness. How professional of me. Hey, paintings. Those were blank. I don't remember. I thought those were blank for some reason. But yeah, so I never wanted to go into space. Nowadays, I'm like, sure, why not? I don't know. It, it would be pretty cool. Like, I don't know. I'm not a huge humanity person anymore. Um, so, there's another fucking bathroom. Oh, but I can turn on a light. Hooray, lights. Yeah, I don't know. Nowadays, I'm like, sure, I'll go to the moon. Why not? Whatever. Like, contribute to science and... Yeah, maybe I would die, sure, but... To just contribute to the world in such a way that might be helpful... Is... Interesting to me. And I don't know, I, I don't think I'd miss that much here. <laughs> That's kind of depressing. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. What would I miss here, really? Let's go in here. Uh, there's still all the creepy rabbits. Yeah, there are. Huh, why did the rabbit folding start though? We don't we don't know so much still. I still don't even know what her condition is. Like, there's a lot we just don't know. Can I check this? Okay, I can't. Uh but yeah, the other thing, I went to the eye doctor the other day, getting probably new glasses. Um 
we're not sure what the fuck my problem is yet. Is this the kitchen? No. But, Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Let them sleep. Okay. There's books on the ground now. Wait, what did that say? The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Um, uh, maybe another year. Puss pisses me off. Why can't I put this one back up? That pisses me off. Also, what is going on in the top right? You guys see that? What is that? There's movement up there. Why? Why is there movement? Oh, Emperor's new clothes. Hey. I love that story, actually. But, I didn't. They liked the Emperor's new clothes, I believe. Turn it off, you giant doofus. Yeah, you owe me a beach ball. Er, what? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Poor kids. Uh, do you, you wanna... Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late. But I should've watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you want to ask, let me sit down first. Oh, okay, sorry. I just apologize to a game character. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Oh, she's got stuff to say. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was so peaceful, too. It helped me with my grievings. Doesn't the government issue grant to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. If I ask the same thing twice? Okay, you just did the last line. So what are you going to tell them about John? I, I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. They'll use their damn iPhones. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Okay, you just say one line. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny and this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. I don't think I have any more questions. Oh. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. No point in thanking us yet when we can't even... Four River. Yeah, there's no point in thanking us now when we haven't even figured out how to fix things yet. Is this the, I'm assuming this is the kitchen. This is like the last room I haven't visited. Hmm. What is it? It seems that our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Ah, creepy music again. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck. They tend to have this little side effect on curious things called memories. Beta blockers? John didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. In such a large amount. 
Its impact on his memories at this time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging and accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we do know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah. Back to square one. Shit. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Oh, man. Oh! Ahem! Forgot my coffee. Jesus. I thought he figured something out. Received note. Beta blocker. Okay, let's check that. It's been a while since I've gotten a note. I missed notes. Yeah, there it is. A drug with side effect of dampening memories by interfering with home with stress hormones. Johnny's still hanging on, so that's pretty good. Uh, I, I just wanted to... <laughs> that one's funny. <laughs> Dr. Neil Watts. A pretty cool guy. Sure. These seem pretty useless. Tony Atwood. Oh, I was thinking of Roman Atwood when I heard that. Don't even start with uh, conversing about Roman Atwood. Would please, viewers. View no, no. Get away from the comments. No. So uh, it smells. Quit ba barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva. It smells. I know. It's your fault for running it over. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory. The one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic mem system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... What? It means that smell is arguably the most se effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is still unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over. Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... Oh god, don't make her do it. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. <laughs> that doesn't help at all. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. <laughs> that doesn't help. That's not helpful at all. Oh, you bitch. And also, the... why don't I just give him this? Everybody likes skis. Okay, I, I just wanted to take a look at that. Ew, this is gross. Oh, this is so weird. I don't want to go pick up roadkill. Oh, guys, just take it in. I'm going to go pick up dead squirrel so I can hover it over a dying man. Um, So I can hover it over a dying man's fucking face. Huh, deja vu. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna go get Roadkill, hover it over a dying man's face so that he smells it so I can access his innermost memories. What the fuck? So what are these? Are these trees or just giant pillars of stone or... 
This is so fucked. Also, I don't think a dead squirrel would smell all the way up a mountain. But I digress. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It'd at least make its odor controllable. Okay, is it in the trunk, I'm assuming? Nope, it's in the fucking car. Okay, of course. Of course. Oh. I'm back here now. What was that? Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. That was way too suspicious to him, for him to be going to the bathroom. Way too suspicious. He's doing something. But what? What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. This episode's going a little bit long. Ah, here it is. Valve container. Awesome. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. That dirty, dirty roadkill. Description? Nothing. I guess we don't care. Snag this up. Ugh. Contained roadkill odor. Oh, that's weird. And we have nothing to say about that, really? Uh. But will the roadkill odor even be enough to stimulate the memories? Find out next time on the finale of To The Moon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Uh, usually I say smack, I guess, but whatever. Do whatever you want to the like button. Just Actually, if you want, even do whatever you want to the dislike button if you dislike the video. Hey, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't get offended, guys. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm not like that, guys. Guys, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not like that. I'm not. If you want to see more of my videos, um, subscribe or just go to my channel and look at some more of my videos. Again, I won't be offended. And, um, yeah, the, the usual. Comment. Definitely comment. Um, yeah, to, the next episode will be the last episode. So we're coming up on the finale of this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye.